I, I'd like to uh, also thank Dale Normal uh, uh, for putting this conference together. I think it's really important for us to get together at this stage of the game and exchange views on whatever the next step is going to be. You know, we, we saw in the last election cycle our community divided sometimes in ugly ways. And my hope is that through this kind of dialogue, through this kind of conversation, we can iron out some of our differences before making firm plans about moving forward. And when we do make those plans, that it be something that we can all buy in on so that as a community we can move forward united and win. <clears throat> I'd also like to commend and recognize Dale and Jeff. And I know many of the people in this room who worked tirelessly on Prop 19. Uh, we came very close that time. I think that we could probably win next time uh, if we keep ourselves together and united. Um, my feeling is that as we look forward, one of the critical issues we need to examine is the type of distribution system that we are advocating for cannabis. Uh, it's my belief that there is a very rich pool of support to be tapped that we have not yet tapped. And my thoughts are based on an analysis of public opinion polls over the last several years, uh, which very consistently show that when you ask Americans or Californians whether they support the right of medical cannabis patients to have their medicine, or when you ask them whether or not they support the right of individual Californians or Americans to possess cannabis, we see overwhelming support in the 70 to 80 percentiles very consistently. But when you ask them a question about legalization, that level of support drops down into the 40 percentiles. Uh, so this is a kind of interesting st st statistic because it means that simultaneously there's this large group of people, 20-25% uh, of people, who are saying that yes, I believe that people should, medical cannabis patients should be able to have their medicine and regular people shouldn't be prosecuted for possessing cannabis, but they're not comfortable about legalization. So what does that reservation stem from? Uh, my belief, uh, based on talking to law enforcement, uh, media, many citizens groups, homeowners organizations that I've had an opportunity to talk with over the last four and a half years, is that their reservations stem from the fact that any image they conjure in their mind of what the legalization of cannabis would look like, the distribution system that would be attached to that, scares them. Uh, many of them, more than you would expect, think that legalization means that the Mexican cartels are going to be allowed to open up on the corners of suburban subdivisions and start selling weed to kids on the way to school. They really believe that. Uh, but more realistically, more realistically, people are concerned uh, about their kids going into a 7-Eleven and walking past not only the booze and the tobacco, but also walking past the weed. They are concerned that Cannabis is going to end up in the hands of companies who will spend 20, 30, 40 times as much money on promoting them, on creating a market, as they do on producing the product. And this is what scares Americans and freaks them out. It's what scares Californians and freaks them out. Now, unfortunately, uh, the, the most uh, Californians' experience with the legal distribution of cannabis in the medical realm has been less than comforting. Uh, most Californians have images of naughty nurses on roller skates uh, with signs uh, hustling people into a, into a shop. Um, and that's not something anybody is going to want to welcome into their neighborhood. So I think as we, as we think about the language of an initiative, as we think about the language of legislation, that it's very important that we envision and that we advocate a system of cannabis distribution that's going to be safe seemly and responsible that's going to address the concerns of mainstream Californians and mainstream Americans and that is going to show them and reassure them that we are worthy of the trust that we're asking for. Thanks very much. Thank